Aloha. Aloha. Aposuo. Bonjour. Al Crazyes. I'm fine. Give him a pawn of a damn bar. How you do? Okay, enough of that, huh? You want to introduce us again? <laughs> I, 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 I try to get uh, the uh, people to uh, accept language. Oh, you try high. different languages because we're trying to welcome the whole world, right? Yeah, whole world. Okay. It's a worldwide. Worldwide, okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm John. <laughs> this is my partner, my dad, Mark. I'm, I'm a chief happiness officer. The chief happiness officer. Um, and what's our mission? Our mission is creating happiness and we just get started. We're just getting started? Yes. And you were spreading some happiness today? Yeah, that's to get started. Yeah. Just getting started. Well, we are just getting started, right? Yeah, we we're did. just getting started in the Spreading Happiness Show. Yep. And we're just getting started in this business we have, right? Right. There's I, so much more to do. I love my business. You love your business? You work hard? I work hard. You're an entrepreneur? Yes, I am. I'm an entrepreneurial. An entrepreneur, huh? You're entrepreneurial? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. You know what else you are? You're a philanthropist. Uh, I'm an octopus. An octopus? No, you're not an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it is June 5th. It's raining outside here in Long Island. Yeah, I, 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 no, it's raining and only it's snowing. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. My mom told me that when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that's an old song. Well, it must be an old song if I learned it as a kid, huh? Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, I really feel like now that. What? Oh, oh, older days. Older days. These are the olden days. These are the days, buddy. So we got a lot going on, right? Yes, we did. Um, we had some good things this weekend, this week, right? You had your dance party on Tuesday? Yes, I did. Every Tuesday, John hosts a dance party, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Yes. Uh, you can join. It's an event here on Facebook. You can find the information on our website. Go to the bottom of the page and you'll see where the dance party information is. Um, but we invite people on Zoom. You get like 100 people dancing on Zoom. I know. What great fun, right? I loved it. And we're doing tours. Online tours, right? We're entrepreneurs. You got to adjust, right? We can't do tours in our warehouse anymore, so we do them online. We did a tour yesterday. We had some fine folks, including a woman from England, join the tour, right? Yeah, right? I love it. And uh, we arranged today to do tours for Gigi's Playhouse in New York City for their summer program. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to do two tours for them, and we're going to arrange a special screening for them of Sock Guys. Wow. You want to tell people what Sock Guys is? Mm, sorry. Go ahead. Mm. Can't say it in public. You can't say in public what Sock Guys is? No, no, it's not that one. No. It's a different one. Okay. Why don't you tell people what Sock Guys is? Sock Guys is a uh, uh, very short documentary. A documentary? Uh, about? About Sock Guys, about us. About us, huh? About and, you. Uh, about me and my... my I my career partner, my dad, Mark. About our company, right? Company you started. I did. Right? I, I had a conversation today with Boris, who's one of the two brothers who started the company, Soxy. They're one of our competitors. But we had a great conversation, oh. and he was just amazed that this whole business came from your idea. I did. I said, well, John's an entrepreneur. This was great fun, right? Yeah. So uh, we're doing that with... Um, Gigi's Playhouse, that's fun, right? And this weekend, um, we're tomorrow, on Sunday, we're going to join the Long Island NAACP for a rally. Um, standing up for black lives, black lives matter, right? And, and we know, we put out a statement the other day, and uh, we're looking at ourselves because um, it's easy to talk about things in the abstract, and, and I know this has been a challenge for us in our business. Um, we don't have many uh, African Americans working for us, and we've tried. We've done uh, recruiting through the NAACP. We did a special um, job fair that we held in Huntington right. Station, 
and we're going to have the opportunity again because we're going to next week we're going to post two openings. One will be uh, for a customer service position, and one will be for a fulfillment organizing firm, fulfillment manager position. And now that your brother Jamie has decided to go elsewhere, right? Um, yeah. And we we really love. You know, we really have to work and look at our biases to to see what we have to do to make sure we get qualified uh, African American candidates. We hire the best candidate possible. Um, but this is something that we have to to work at, and we're going to go to a rally to stand up on Sunday. We were at one last week, right? These are important things to do. It's like you say, right? You've been learning from me. That's the American thing to do. Stand up for what you believe, speak out, use your First Amendment privileges. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, we got other things going on, right? Yeah. You've been excited because you've been watching Family? What's uh, it called? Not Family, I call Full of House. Full of House. And um, yesterday, uh, last night, um, uh, um, um, I, 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 I used up a napkin. A brother of napkins. Napkins? No, uh, tissues. Tissues, oh, you were crying? I was crying, and <laughs> um, um, I, I was last episode. Last episode? Ever? Yeah, because this is her very last one. And I know I heard from you, you kept going on about it. It ended in a triple wedding. Right. You know what? When we're done here, we gotta look up, see if there's any video of the Reverend Sung Young Moon, who back in the 80s, yeah. 70s or 80s, married like 500 people at the same time in Madison Square Garden. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and um, Dad, um, the, I, I have a little rumor yeah. about it. Mary Kay and Echo Wilson. Yeah. And um, they think uh, they, they didn't join uh, they the train. Right. And, and they are basically in fashion. Right. They fact, have new careers. They uh, they moved on. Yeah, they right. we are uh, doing fashion in in your career. Yeah, that's cool. And and uh, um, the, I have rumor. I saw the article like uh, a twin something something going on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't read those uh, pages all the time. That used to be a big reader on page six in the post where they had all the gossip going on. Um, I got other things in my mind. And there was something else you did this week that you do all the time, but you did a little differently this week, right? Um, they had postponed the school board elections and the school budget elections in New York until June, and because of the virus, they're not having them in person. They're voting through the mail. So you voted the other day, right? I did. And, and John's a very thoughtful and, and a good citizen. You read very carefully all of the uh, candidate biographies. You asked a lot of questions, and you chose who you were going to vote for, right? I did. And we voted for different people. One was the same, and we got to vote for two candidates, and we voted for one the same and one different. You know what that shows? Yeah. You're independent. I was. You think for yourself, right? And that's really important, right? Uh, particularly in this time when we're questioning you know, some things about our government and about government leaders, you got to vote. And you always right. vote, don't you? And you're very thoughtful about it, and that's the way to be. Uh, but if John can vote, everybody can vote, right? Do yeah. you like voting? I do. It's very important, right? That's good stuff, buddy. Uh, so we have that. And you know what else? We're kicking off on Sunday. You're going to be studied. There's a professor from uh, St. John's University who wants to, who has gotten approval to do an academic study about our business and about human leadership and how we employ people with different abilities. So she's going to do, I think, seven one-hour interviews with us. Are you ready to be written up in an academic study, John? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> They're not going to poke and prod you. It's just going to be questions. I, I, I'm going to poke me like a bear. Poke you like a bear. Yeah, don't poke the bear. <laughs> uh, and you know what today would have been? This weekend, I would have been in Worcester, Massachusetts for our 40th college reunion. 
Oh, yeah. You know what that makes me? Old. I know. But, you know, I've been communicating with some of my friends. And what school did I go to? Holy Cross. And Holy Cross, I got a great education there. But what was the best thing I got there? A your beautiful bride. My beautiful bride. <laughs> your mom, right? Yeah. <laughs> and my dad married a college girl. I married my college sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been a wild ride these 40 years since we graduated. <laughs> That's for sure. And I, 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 for the record. For the record. I, 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 you're not, I, 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 you not old. I'm not old. And uh, my uh, mom out older than you. She is older than me. That is, you wanted to get that record straight, huh? Yes. You might point that out to her. That your father married an older woman? <laughs> uh, you know what that is, John? Yeah. Trouble. I know. <laughs> uh, gotta get us in trouble, pal. <laughs> okay, so. So, and what do we have new this week? Max. Mask. So, so I, we have two different things. Oh, I, 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 my back. You have it? You want to go get yours? Yeah, I, I can't come up. Sure. I'm oh, sorry. This is one of them. It says love. John likes that, and that's the hot seller. Um, and we got this uh, American flag mask, and we got another one that says smile. Let's see if he's got that. He's running off. Um, and uh, here's an important thing about these masks, in keeping with everything else we do, 10% of the money from the mask will go to coronavirus relief, and we're going to split it between the American Nurses Foundation they have a coronavirus relief fund in Good Samaritan Hospital, a local hospital, and they have COVID-19 relief fund. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So I showed them, let's see, I showed the love one. Love. Love. L-U-V, love. And then what do you got? <laughs> I got You got smile. the smile one. Smile, that's kind of nice, huh? And we got the flag one. Yeah. That's very cool. And then we have more coming in. But yours. we okay. Let's not mix them up. No, no. The flag one was mine. No, it's mine. Okay. Um, Wait. I think. Nope. I think that oh, was mine. No, one. it's yours. Uh, and then Fine. we got another thing going on on Tuesday. So here's some a little advance notice. To you. On Tuesday, we're going to do a special sale for anybody who places an order. It's twenty five dollars or more. Is going to get four of these masks. So not the designer masks, but you're going to get four of these masks. So anybody who needs masks, if you place an order on Tuesday, you're going to get a package of four masks. Pretty good? Okay. You like that? Okay. You got any jokes for people tonight? I do. I got a really bad joke. Good. <laughs> oh, good. My, my bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> what did the packet say? When he turned 80 years old. What did the pirate say when he turned 80 years old? I may. I matey. I <laughs> may. Okay. I got one for you. Why not back up? <laughs> what do you got to give a sick lemon? Lemon A. That don't want to pass up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny, huh, John? Um, well, that's pretty good. We got other things going. So, let's see. We um, we agreed to do a couple podcasts today, a couple entrepreneurs podcasts. Um, I'm going to go back on uh, the interview show with Cliff Sobel, the streaming uh, streamcast network, and do an interview on um, social entrepreneurism. Cool. Um, so we, we shared news about things. We are going to be hiring people. So uh, if you know somebody who wants to work in customer service or uh, in fulfillment and they're on Long Island, let us know. Um, somebody who wants to be part of uh, John's crazy socks operation. People like that, right? Mm -hmm. Today was Friday. What did that mean? What did we have today? March. Staff run Friday. What did we have? We have pizza and salad. Pizza and salad. I'm still eating just my chicken. And I can get back and fight in shape. Salad, though, huh? Was it good? I never had that. What'd you have? 
pizza. Pizza, good pizza. I like, I like, I like some regular pizza. Um, so that's a, that, you know, we got that going on. Um, we, uh, we're gonna roll out a new charity fundraising program. So uh, here's how that's gonna work. Um, if we work with a group, say we work with a Boy Scout troop, they get a special discount code, or a special code. And they give that to their supporters. And if their supporter uses the code, um, every time a supporter uses the code, to order something from us, they get a free pair of socks, and the Boy Scout troop would get 10% of whatever purchases were made. So it's a great fundraising thing for charity groups. And we've heard from lots of groups that are very interested in that. So, so that'll be good stuff. Right, you want to check in with folks here? Yeah, yeah. So you got Verna saying hi, and good to see hi, you both. Hi, how are you? Um, Melissa says she loves your socks and loves your smile. Thank you. And she says we have an amazing family. Well, most of the time. You know, sometimes we're a family. You know, people butt heads, right? Hey. <laughs> you want to say everything's fine. Everything's good. I, I did that. I wasn't a family. Yeah. I love my mom. I know you love your mom. You love your brothers. You love your mom. Yeah. And you put up with your dad. <laughs> uh, Georgia says hi, John and Mark. Kareem says hi, John and Mark. Ashley is saying hello from San Francisco. San Francisco. I love San Francisco. So, so now, I wonder if, if Ashley knows what the San Francisco treat is. It used to be, uh, I, I guess they still sell it, rice a roni. And there used to be an ad. Right, so only the San Francisco <laughs> trip. <laughs> you know what that makes me do? Oh. <laughs> Happy mom. Uh, Tammy says hello. Jerry, Jerry Holly from uh, Special Olympics says good evening, John. And wow, Mark. thank you. Uh, he hopes things are going well in Long Island. We hope they are down in the D.C. area. You got a shout out from Dorothy in Utah? Hi, Dorothy. And Noah's dad <coughs> is saying hello. Well, we'll just leave him at Noah's dad, and we know him by other names, too. Uh, Downright Design says a documentary that's so cool. It is really fun and amazing. His, uh, his filmmaker, Katie Turinsky, uh, called us up and said she wanted to make a documentary about us. Yeah. And she made it. It's an 11-minute documentary short called Sock Guys. It's been playing the film festival circuit. She's won awards. She made us look good, right? Yeah. And John was really excited because he now has an entry in IMDb. <laughs> uh, Within, I can get an Oscar. You're not going to get an Oscar. <laughs> I'll point out. <laughs> oh, we got a, a joke in from Jennifer. What did the left eye say to the right eye? So we're going to have to scroll down and see. Anne is sending some love. And Leah, before I even scroll down, where's Leah from? Buffalo. Buffalo. Hi, Leah. She got her health care socks yesterday, and she is happy. Um, Dad. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we got a hello, Brenda, from Roanoke, Virginia. And she's really happy because her husband is an RN, and he loves his hero socks. Brenda, thank you, you know, and thank you, husband, for the work that he does, right? Uh, Hi, Dad. Yeah? Uh, I guess, Leah, maybe actually, uh, she came, she came home, I came with her in Buffalo. Uh, I, I found Leah in Buffalo. Okay. And, and I'm thinking, yes? I probably we could get rain. He'll get wing. Okay. So we have to explain. John likes taking road trips, and we're talking about taking cross-country road trip next summer and go visit places, do home deliveries across the country, speaking engagements. John meets America, right? But if we go to Buffalo, we could meet Leah. And you could have wings. I know wings. You want to go to, I, I, you okay, wanna go to Buffalo for bar. wings at the Anchor Bar. <laughs> you know your American history, where the Buffalo wing was born. <laughs> yeah, uh, people love America. Um, Leah says the Sox are going to her best friend's husband, who's an RN. That's oh. really nice. She says it's really hard to hear us tonight. Hmm. I have to get.
get the audio, audio up. Sorry about that. Um, I Mason says you. hello from Nebraska. Hi, Nebraska. Um, you got a hello from Ben and Kathleen in Illinois. And I'm old. Um, Mason wants to know, how did you get to making socks? Well, why socks? Because it's a fun, colorful career and all in the me. Yeah, Donna says hello from England. Um, well, I'm not in England. Okay. So Jennifer now gives us the answer to her joke. What did the left eye say to the right eye? Something between us smells. The nose. <laughs> I like that joke. A little clever. And it's good morning from Australia and Marie. Though she may say it. Let's see if I can do an Australian accent. Morning. No, I can't. Good morning from Australia. Oh, good morning. <laughs> You're speaking well now. <laughs> um, Andrew Pinsko, who uh, was on our tour the other day, thank he, you. He's saying hello too. Um, and Leah, you know, Leah, you know, give a big hug to your husband there, the RN. It's amazing what the frontline healthcare workers were doing. Um, oh, Dad, I have to have an idea. Yeah. I gotta say. You're gonna sing, but wait, we just got a message from Susan. Check this out. She's been a sock of the of the Mug Club member for two years. Wow. Whoa. That's awesome. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, and Anne Marie is not upset that I fumbled the Australian accent. <laughs> Good day, baby. <laughs> it's horrible stuff. Um, Liz Uhas is saying hello. Hello. Right. So we hope you guys have a good weekend, a good safe weekend, right? I I, I wanna uh uh what I want to do. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say. What are you gonna say? Oh yeah. Everything I know, I know, I know. Everything I have Is that somebody else's song, or did you just make that up? I just like chill out. You just made it up. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Can I be? You know, you keep singing like that. Animal control might show up. <laughs> <laughs> and Mason wants to know when do you start? Well, we opened our store when? What was the first day? Uh, Friday. December 9, 2016. Right. And Susan says um, that she still has the first pair she ever got because they're in good shape. I have some that we've had for years here. And Patrick wants to know, singing, I thought you wanted us to have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and there are other people encouraging you to sing. Uh, hey, Patrick. I have a brother named Patrick. You have a brother named Patrick. Funny. That guy's name is Patrick Cronin. Oh, hi, Patrick. <laughs> hey, Patrick, guess what? Ow! Oh, where was oh, London? Where was the London? Yeah. Oh, because you sang that karaoke with Patrick? Oh, yes. Oh, where was London? You know what would be helpful if you learn more than two lines to a song? <laughs> 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 Did you know what I'm I want to help you. I want to help you. Yeah. Would you like to sing a song together? Yes, Dad. And Patrick. How about this song? Patrick will love this song. It's a little ditty from a guy named Steve Goodman. You want to say it with me? Yeah, Dad. Last, Last night, night, my, my baby, baby came, came to, to me. me. And she says, she says well, well, I'm, I'm kind of confused. She said that if me, me and BB King, King were both drowning, which one of one us of us would you choose? And I uh, said, I said oh, oh, baby. baby. And I, I said, said, oh, baby. baby. And I, I said, said, oh, baby. baby. I never I heard, heard you blues. sing the blues. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Jack.
bad. I, I think they're going to take us away. <laughs> uh, 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 let's see. We got a couple of people saying that makes them smile. Jessica says, I want to thank you for shining some happiness on her day. She's in Atlanta, but she's heading home to Long Island, Long Island next week to see her very special family. She can't wait to get to feel all that joy and happiness. Well, it's always great when you get home to see family, Jessica. We hope you have safe travels. Um, Susan, all the way from Australia, is saying we are too much. Oh, <laughs> we got a ring to get down to Australia. I've never been to Australia. I told you, we got to get a trip to Australia and New Zealand. That'd be fun. We take about a month. We'll go on the road for a month to Australia and New Zealand. Huh. Okay. That's one of the things I love about you. You're always up for something, right? I do. And you got a hello from Delaware? Okay. Well, you guys take care. We hope you have a great night, a great weekend, right? Thank we you. should sell. You want to sell a little something? Sure. You want to get socks? Where can you get them? At And if you want to get some great masks, you can get them. And these are really comfortable masks. Oh, uh, yeah. John's Crazy Socks. Socks.com. Okay, buddy. Good night, folks. You okay. want to say good night, John? Good night. Okay. <laughs>